What's up, people? It's Doug Ski's Morning Mayhem here on 109 The True. True rock for the true rock believers. It's week 10 in our new home, beautiful O'Grady County. And we're coming up on 8 in the a.m. Hey, y'all. I just want a GSFS. It's serious. And thank the people of O'Grady for welcoming us with such open arms. Smells like flowers. Okay, you can put your arms in now. You're sticking up the joint. You farted. Wow, where have you been all my life? <laughs> You've just entered Dumpsky Land. Salute, soldier. And he's still Mr. Lipschitz, except he's also my mother, but like when she was young. And he grows these wings and he sings the national anthem and drives down the lunch counter and takes off. It seems so real. I think you have to stop falling asleep in front of the country music channel. What do you think my dream means? I have no idea. Oh, but you know what? I had a dream last night. Okay, tell me what it means. My hair fell out. No, wait, my teeth fell out. Either my hair or my teeth fell out. And either way, it didn't go with my boots. Oh, that one's easy. It means that you feel either powerless or outcast. Really? Yeah. Well, hopefully the second sister thing will make me feel less powerless or less outcast. Oh my God, you signed up for second sibs? Mm -hmm. That's so great. I join up with you, but they won't let me mentor anymore. Why? Well, I exceeded my mentorship quota last year. I guess they want to give kids the chance to learn from people who aren't me. It's amazing. I am about to give this 11-year-old girl named Ruby from N.A. Wait, where's N.A.? North America? Oh, good. So we have that in common. I'm about to give this girl the chance to spend, like, hours getting to know me and learning everything I know. You know, most people aren't that generous. I know. It's a lot of work. Like Kevin. Can you imagine him ever stepping outside of his Kevin-centric world long enough to think of anyone else? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. Really? Wait, Kevin? Oh, my God, Abby, I'm so sorry. I forgot I was on the phone with Kevin when you called. Have you been listening this whole time? Uh, yeah. Ugh, this is... I feel so... Powerless? Outcast? Dreams about losing your hair? Hey, Abby, I signed up for second steps, too. Harold? Oh, wait, I was on the phone with you. Yeah, I haven't gotten one of those cards yet. I should have one of those cards, right? Yeah, the cards are important. That's how you know who you're compatible with. Meet a little guy later today. I guess I'll get my little card later. Looking for the fourth call right now at 555-TRUTH to win those tickets to this weekend. Shock it off. Shock it off. Paintball tourney. Oh, hey, losers. Doug's keys on. Who? Who wants the prize? Oh, crap. And we have a winner. Oh, damn it. Find so where in North America are you from, Ruby? Uh, kind of all over. I've been moving around a little lately. Well, that sounds interesting. So you like to travel? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, my family does. They have a tour bus. We've been all over. <laughs> and does this magic bus fly, too? Uh, no. Did you hear something? No. Hey, let me push you. Uh... Pump! There you go! Come on! Come on! Uh, Ruby, you're not pumping. I kind of feel pumped out. That's okay, we can just talk. So, what do your parents do? Yeah, I, you know what? I don't really feel like going there right now. Okay. Behavior. Erratic. Uh, uh, Ruby, are you bipolar? What? Do you take pills? Could we knock off with the questions? That's kind of why I'm not hanging out with my real sister. You're touring in a magic bus, real sister? Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> You're getting me a little confused. I... It's okay. Shh, 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 Ruby. Shh. Wait. You have nothing to be worried about, okay? Sure. Good. Now let's teeter-totter. Mm. Yeah, I got a visual, boss. Okay, I want a GSFS again. Get serious. As you know, my usual co-host, Angry Mike, has been caught in the talons of the activist judiciary. Uh, Don't forget you can send letters of support uh, and donations care of the station, but until Mike has his day in court, we need a replacement. So, if you think you have what it takes to sit at the right hand of Dugski, I'll give the 10th caller a shot at greatness. Right now at 555. True. Yes, bring it. Duh. Uh, uh, uh. Caller 10, you're on the air. Let it rip, Chief. Impress me. Am I on? Oh, delight of delights. No, come on, Philip. My name is Philip DeMorio. And in the ribald spirit of your show, I've prepared a naughty limerick. <coughs> there was a young man from Rhode Island. Uh, okay, thanks, Tony Blair. I don't think so. Caller 10.5, you're on. What you got? And is it hot? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm such a big fan. I'll do anything. I'm I'm crazy. Well, crazy's good. What I need is a wild man. I'm a wild man. You don't sound like one. Let me hear you get wild for Dunsky. <laughs> Dugski. Not bad. Kind of literal, but not bad. Quiet down, Kevin. Your brother's asleep. But I'm on 109 The Truth, Mom. I don't 
don't care what you're on. You're too loud. Well, maybe you're too... Communist. Communist. Tell her if she keeps it up, you'll report her to Homeland Security. Hey, keep it up and I'll report you to Homeland Security, Mom. What? And you're going to send her back to Portugal. And I'll send you back to Portugal. What? Who's in there with you? Nice. I think we have our new sidekick. Stay on the line. Uh, Kevin. I'm Kevin. And we will set you up. Are you ready to get demented? Totally. 109 The Truth. So what? Uh, your name is, uh... Misty. I go to St. Catherine's. So this is some kind of a mistake, I mean... The contract says we'll enjoy four weeks of unparalleled sisterly togetherness. Uh, and there's a bunch of fun stuff to do on this list. You're, you're my age. Actually, you're a few months older than me. Fantastic. I really need to do this volunteer work for my college resume, Harold. I, uh... Why don't we just try doing a couple of the outings together? We can handle that, right? <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's, let's give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vishnu, guide me. Guide my hands. Mr. Hari Richards? Rama, Hari Rama, so Hari weird. Hari Rama. Okay, I might be going crazy, but I think I saw Mr. Lipschitz making pottery. Also, I think he had a chicken bone hanging from his neck. Speaking of crazy, I'm having some issues with Ruby. Something smells sweet! Okay, you've been saying that all day, and you really have to stop. It's my new radio catchphrase. Sweet! Okay, it's time for the big people to talk. Go over there now. Uh, uh, Abby, I'm not... Now! Uh... Wow, Abby, that was really good. Thanks. It's like being a big sister is in your blood. I know. That's why I've been thinking it's all Ruby's fault. No, wait, that's not right. But it's like she's unreachable, you know? It doesn't seem to matter how much I get up in her face. She's just distant. I'm sure you'll get through to her soon. Thanks. Hey, Harold, how'd it go with you? Did you get your card? Yep. So how's it going? Fine. That's it? She's cool. It's good. Wait, she? I don't get it. I thought you were getting a baby bro. Well, it was a little mix-up, but, uh, you know, Misty and I worked it out, so it's, it's fine. Oh, my God. You should go back, Harold. Tell them there's a mistake. Something smells sweet! Harold, you with a Catholic schoolgirl named Misty? Misty what? Um, uh, Misty Leclerc. Holy crap, Harold. That's like an adult film star's name. Are you cool with that? Uh, I mean, I, I'm great. We're both grown-ups. I'm sure we can get through this in a mature fashion. Wait, where are you going? Uh, Misty's taking me to the petting zoo. The petting zoo, huh? Sweet heaven! What? Stop! Stop! Sweet heaven! Ow. Okay, Rubes, I picked up some awesome stuff for us. Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, Scissor Sisters, Twisted Sisters, Sister Act, Sister Act 2. You know this one's about nuns, right? Nuns who form a sister-like bond. Look, Abby, this is real sweet and stuff, but maybe you could dial it back a little. I could really use some private time. Private time? Nope, it's not in the guide. But it does say that I can do your nails or braid your hair. We could talk about boys, or we could talk about boys while I do your nails and braid your hair. Huh, it also says that I can make you clean my room. Hmm. Can I do it alone? <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. You must be my new wingman. <laughs> wow, Dougski. Um, it's uh, it's an honor to meet you. Wow, you're so tan. Your whole I'll do anything stizzle is just what we're looking for, bro. What's your name? Uh, Kevin Harnish. Huh. Not exactly money, dog. How about K Dog? K Dog. No, wait. K Frog. K Frog? K Diggity, the Freedom Team. Um, okay. Hey, what's this dare to swear thing? Hey, brother man, around here I ask the questions and dish the truth, and I've got just one question for you. Are you ready to do this? Uh, absolutely, man. Bring on the fame and the ladies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna want you to amp it up a bit when we go live. Sweet! <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, at first I was intrigued, but this is like getting creepy weird. Oh, oh, oh ow! Oh, hello, oh. Beth. Hey, Mr. Lipschitz. Yeah. Come on, Harold. This horsey has room for two. Pat, pat. Um, I, I'm, I'm lonely. Uh, you know what? This isn't working out. Uh, I've got to go tell someone. There's, there's been a mistake. But, Harold, you promise. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> You're funny, Harry. <laughs> oh, no. Catch you on the flip, G. Oh, hey, Dugski. Hey, look, it's the K-Frog 1 to teen. Let's ride, dude. Mind if I hold you right here? Long as your hands don't get hurt by titanium. Do you have robotic legs? Dugski's a robot. 
how about we make a latte run and then we'll just come back and have quiet time? Rubes, it is so cute that you drink coffee, but that stuff doesn't sound very sisterly. Yeah, you know what? I really admire your intense dedication to the sister time thing. Thank you. But maybe you'd be happier with like a, a sister or sister. So I'm just going to head over to the second Sib's office and see if I can just get out of this. You know, for you. But they're closed. I'll break in. Thanks for the good times. <laughs> very funny, Rubes. Ruby, where you going, Rubes? They found me. Huh. You want to braid my hair? Oh my god, yes.